Hello, my fourth grade friends. Uh, today we are doing unit one, lesson number five, and it's about comparing numbers bigger than what we had talked about before and when we did uh, lesson three. So um, the concept remains the same. Like we talked about in lesson three, we are looking at um, what they have in common. So like, you have your place value. You have to start looking at the biggest place value that they have. If if one of them is only like a hundred and or like nine hundred and ninety nine, but the other one is one thousand and one, right here, this has a zero. Oops, this has a zero in this place value in the thousands place. So it doesn't matter that these are all nines, that's besides the point. We're comparing the largest place value first. If those happen to be the same, then and only then do we start looking at the smaller place values. And then in this case, a nine is greater than zero. So th this one will be larger. So just keep that in mind. We have to look at the larger place value first. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it, huh? Okay. Also remember, um, when you're reading it across, uh, you remember your little alligator mouth thingy, uh, that opens to the larger number. So you'll read this as greater than, you'll read this one that I think kind of looks like an L, right? As less than. And then, of course, this is equal to. All right, so. Um, a stadium hosted both a concert and a sporting event. The concert had 101,835 people in attendance. The sporting event had 101,538 people in attendance. Which event had more people in attendance? How do you know? So let's write up both of those numbers. 101835 compared to 101538. So let's see. They both go into the 100,000. So we'll, we're starting there. They both have 100,000. That's the same. They both have zero ten thousands. That's the same. They both have 1,000. That's the same. In the hundreds place, however, we have 800 compared to 500. With that little bit different, we can tell that this number is greater than that number because of this eight. All right, so um let's do these two together and then if you're feeling good about it you can skip ahead and see maybe about until here and then if you're getting those right then you can go ahead down to the bottom okay so both 10 or both one ten thousand this one has two thousand compared to one thousand so that one is greater twelve thousand is greater than eleven thousand they both have one 10,000. 4,000 compared to 5,000, 4,000 and 14,000 is less than 15,000. They both have two 10,000s. This one has 3,000, or three in the thousand place, and this one has eight in the thousand place. So 23,000 is less than 28,000. This one, they both have eight in the 10,000s place. 3,000 is bigger than 0,000. So 3, 83,000 is greater than 80,000. All right, try these ones, see how you do. Here we go. They both have seven in the ten thousands place. They both have nine in the thousands place. They both have one in the hundreds place. <gasps> but then this one has a three in the tens place and this one has a one in the tens place. So what's bigger? 
the three in the tens place. So 79,131 is greater than 79,113. Okay, they both have one in the hundred thousands place. But then two in the ten thousand place versus six in the ten thousand place. So the one with the six is greater, so we say 126. 1,348 is less than 162,634. Okay, here we go. 700,000, same. No, nothing in the tens place. 10,000 place, nothing, er, they're, they're both 5,000. One in the hundreds, two in the tens, six in the ones, well, they're, they're the same number. What do we do with that? They are equal, right? If they're exact, exactly the same, they're equal. Nothing is greater than the other one. Uh, five in the hundred thousands, three in the ten thousands, two in the thousands, eight in the hundreds. <gasps> Ew. Ew. Excuse me. These ones almost look the same, but there's a slight difference. This one has four in the tens place, and this one has three in the tens place. So this one is actually greater. You have to like really look at these numbers carefully. Six to six, four to four, seven to seven, three to three, one to one, and then in the ones place, oh my gosh, one is greater. Now, this one they're trying to trick you on because you might think, oh, a one and a nine, but they're not comparing the same place value, right? This one has zero hundred thousands. That's starting with the ten thousands. This is starting with the hundred thousands. So one hundred thousand compared to zero hundred thousands, the one hundred thousand is greater. Got to be careful with that. Okay, same thing right here. They want you to be like, oh, it's seven and five, and the zero just forget about it. No, no, no. This is saying seven hundred thousand. This is saying seven ten thousands. So we have zero hundred thousands here. So then, what's greater? The one that actually has some hundred thousands, right? What about this one? Just a bunch of zeros and ones? No, they're different, right? This is 100,000. This is 1 million. This is uh, way bigger. Um, this has zero millions, right? This is really 10 100 thousands. So it's a greater number. Okay. Now we're going to continue with the rounding that we did, and we're rounding in that 10,000 place. So we find our 10,000 place. We look at the smaller place value, which in this case is 5, and we think of our little rhyme. 4 or less, let it rest. 5 or more, let it soar. So this is going to go up to the next 10,000. So this was between 20 and 30,000. And now it's going up to 30,000. All right, this one right here, we're going to underline our 10,000s place. Look over to the right. It's a three, so we're in between 10 and 20,000 here. That three is four or less, so it's going to rest and stay at 10,000. Okay, this one right here, underline our 10,000s place. Look over to the right. Four or less, let it rest. Five or more, let it soar. So we're in between 40 and 50,000. It's closer to 50,000. All right, next one 84,000. So underline our 10,000 place. We're in between 80 and 90. Four or less, let it rest. So it's going to stay at 80,000. Right here, 92. Looking at the 90, we're in between 90,000 and 100,000. That would be like the next 10,000, right? So that 2 is less than 4, so it will rest at our 90,000. And then 99,000, we're in between 90 and 100 again. 
And because that 9 is greater than 5, it's so much closer to 100,000. All right. We're going to do these two together, and then I want you to try these ones on your own, okay, if you can. So the nearest 100,000. So that's this place right over here, our 100,000. Same thing, looking at that, looking over to the right, four or less, let it rest. We're in between 500,000 and 600,000, so it's resting at 500,000. Uh, this one right here, seven, zero. It's definitely less than four, so we're gonna rest at the 700,000. You try these ones. Hit play when you're ready. So six, it's in between six and seven hundred, so seven hundred thousand. This one, they put that nine there just to try to get you, but it's really, we're looking at the four. So two hundred thousand, in between two and three. This is in between three hundred and four hundred, and that ninety is bringing it really close to that four hundred thousand. Oh, and then this one, it's in between 900,000, and what's 10 100,000? It's a million, right? So, that would be uh, 1 million. Okay. Turn that page. We're going to look at the back. So, now we're kind of working backwards a little bit. The questions here are sort of um, challenging or thinking a little bit. Write a number that changes to 310,000 when it is rounded. To what place was your number rounded? So this brought us to a 10,000, right? All of these are all zeros. This is the number that uh, is the first one that's not a zero. So this could have been... We'd have to look over here and it would either have to be resting, which would be something in the 1000s place that is less than five, right? Or four or less. Or it could be something where if this was a zero, that could have brought it up to 310,000. So I'm gonna have it rest. I think that's a little bit more straightforward. So we can say round, 311,000 to the nearest 10,000. So by rounding that to the nearest 10,000, they looked here, they peeked over there, and they're like, oh, that's four or less. We have to let it rest, right? Instead of going up to 320,000. <laughs> Write a number that changes um, four, or sorry, 901,400 when it is rounded. So we're looking here, right? So something in this had to leave it at the 400. So that could be, um, and that's the hundreds place. So let's do it the other way. Let's have it be something that rounded up. So if we do 900. 1,090, uh, yeah, 390, to the nearest 100, right? Because that's the 100 where it is. Okay, 800,000, what do you think? To the nearest what? 100,000. And then what number would go to the nearest 100,000? What about 800,000 Wait, no, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't work at all. Because that would go up to 800 and, wait, 100,000. I was thinking the nearest thousand. No, that would be fine. Because 
if you look over there, it doesn't matter what all these are. These could be 999. Uh, the 10,000 place is zero, so it's going to stay at 800,000. Silly me, I'm confusing myself. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry, my eye is so itchy right now. Uh, 122,000 when it is rounded, so that we could say is to the nearest thousand place. So then we could have 121,900. Because you look over there and you'd be like, oh, it has to go to 2,000. All right. If you take this number and round it to the nearest 10, right there. Be 395 because that's going to rest at zero to the nearest hundred. That one looking over here, 395 resting at 100. The nearest thousand that's right there, looking over there, 390. Now, because that's a one, it's not going to go up to 6,000, it's going to rest at 5,000. 10,000, that's a five, so that's gonna go up. So instead of nine, it's gonna go to 10. We already have three there, so it's gonna be 400,000. And then 100,000 would also be 400,000. Okay, next one. Go ahead and give this one a shot on your own and see how you do. To the nearest 10, and at the ones place, that's gonna bring it to 70. The 958 and 70. The nearest 100, with that six, it's gonna go up to 100, so 958,100. Um, the next one. Uh, there's thousands place, so there's nothing in the hundreds place, so it'll be 958. We're just gonna rest there. There's 10,000, that will go up to, what's the next 10,000 after 5,000? Six, or 50,000 to 60,000. And the next 100,000 with that five, it's gonna go up to one million. All right, that's it for this page. Go ahead and see if you have an assignment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.